Grace and peace, friends. This is Rhythm and Word, a midweek service of worship brought to you by Fourth Presbyterian Church of Chicago. In these 15 minutes for spiritual reflection and renewal, we pray that you will find your body renewed, your mind awakened, and your spirit uplifted as together we remind each other of God's holy presence in our lives. During this month, we've been celebrating what the church calls Advent, heralding the coming of Christ on Christmas Day, as well as looking forward to a future time when Christ will come again in glory and establish a reign of justice, peace, and flourishing. Well, now it's Christmas, and we know that during this time of year, they're singing in carols, and we want to add some of the Bible's most treasured songs to your playlist this holiday season. So today, as we bask in the joy of Christmastide, we visit with the shepherds outside the city of Bethlehem, who are about to receive the surprise of their lives as God's redemptive love is made known to them in the angel's message of hope found in the manger. So sit back, calm your mind, take a moment to separate yourself from the cares of this day, remembering that above all, you are God's beloved and redeemed child. And listen, as the words of the psalm and our musical refrain call you into a time of worship. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me on the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me. Answer me speedily on the day when I call. For my days pass away like smoke, and my bones burn like a furnace. But you, O Lord, are enthroned forever. Your name endures to all generations. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. You will rise up and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to favor it. The appointed time has come, for your servants hold its stones dear and have pity on its dust. The nations will fear the name of the Lord and the rulers of the earth your glory. For the Lord will build up Zion. God will appear in his glory. God will regard the prayer of the destitute and will not despise their prayer. Let this be recorded for a generation to come, so that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord, that God looked down from God's holy height, from heaven the Lord looked at the earth, to hear the groans of the prisoners, to set free those who were doomed to die, so that the name of the Lord may be declared in Zion and God's praise in Jerusalem. When peoples gather together, and nations to worship the Lord. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Scripture recounts that when Mary gave birth to her firstborn son, she wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. Before we listen to the song of the angels when they brought good news of the birth of the Christ child, let us prepare with prayer. Let us pray. Illumine us, O God. Open us to the glory and the beauty of your holy word. Illumine us, open us, amen. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. 
You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom God favors. If you ask any artist, a musician, an actress, or a painter what they're waiting for, it's likely their big break. You work away in obscurity, practicing and honing your craft every day, wondering if someone will hear that song, or see your painting in a gallery, or watch you grace the stage or the screen. Waiting for an artist is excruciating sometimes. And waiting is also what the shepherds have done on the hills outside of Bethlehem. Waiting is what all those who we've visited with this Advent season have done. Hannah and Zechariah, Mary and Simeon. But the shepherds, like artists, are not just what are not. But the shepherds, like artists, are not just waiting around idly. They are watching charged with the care and protection of sheep. Creatures who provide food and clothing for many peoples, these shepherds are watching for dangers and threats on the horizon. Sheep could be stolen or killed or lost or accidentally injured by any number of hazards to be found on the rough-hewn hills outside of Bethlehem or any other city in the ancient world. That kind of constant vigilance can affect the way that you perceive the world. As you have to quickly measure whether other people are threats, it can make you reluctant to embrace them. And soon the world becomes nothing but threats. And before you know it, life is shepherd and sheep against the world. But it seems these shepherds are different. In the early hour, but it seems these shepherds are different. In the early hours of the morning when the hills are cold and lonely and threats could enter the mind, the shepherds of Bethlehem watch, not simply for dangers, but also for wonders and grace. And what they look for, they find. Dazzled and fearful at the same time, they run into messengers of God whose appearance strikes them with awe, and they drop their guard just for a moment, just long enough to catch the tune of the angel's song, glory to God in the highest and peace on earth to those who God favors. 
their big break has finally come. As the angels utter that life-giving word, peace. Peace is such a powerful song for those whose lives depend on defensiveness. Peace means letting go. Peace means being able and willing to love. But the truth is, not only shepherds have defenses, each of us do. And as we pause from the watching for dangers to watching for wonder and grace, we too can catch the angels too. We too can find, however temporarily, the peace of this season, the peace that one day will cover the earth in its fullness. Let us join our hearts together in a spirit of prayer. Let us pray. Glorious God, we hear the songs of the angels telling us to not be afraid. And after the angels left the shepherds, the shepherds themselves went to Bethlehem to see the infant Christ. Let us believe the message of the angels, that there is nothing to fear. Help us to follow in the way of the shepherds and approach you, holy God, through our encounter with the infant Christ. We give you thanks, God of majesty, that you came into human form that you entered into human life, into human vulnerability. We know the vulnerability of infants, how much they need love, how they need to be fed and nourished, how they depend on the adults all around them. And we know how much you depend on us too. You need our hearts and hands and feet in this physical world to bring healing and comfort and justice Give us the strength and inspiration to serve you and your world. Give us the courage that the angels call us to. Knowing that we have our own human imperfections, help us to grow more loving, more spiritually beautiful, more forgiving of ourselves and others, more generous with all that we have. Just as you have entered into our world, we pray that you would enter into the hearts of all those who suffer and bring them peace and wholeness. We pray all these things through Christ Emmanuel, God with us, who teaches us to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Bye. 
thy prophet seen of old with with the ever circling years shall come the time foretold when peace shall over all the earth its ancient splendor sing and the Now the angels sing. Friends, wherever you are watching this from, we are grateful that you have joined us. And we hope that you'll reach out with any reflections or comments that you might have. If you're interested in supporting Rhythm and Word, you can like and subscribe to this channel share or recommend to a friend or offer a gift to support the wider work and ministry of Fourth Church using the information that will appear on your screen in just a few moments. And now go from here with the confidence and hope of Christmastide. Strengthen those who are tired and exhausted, comfort those who are anxious and fearful, extend God's profound peace to all whom you meet. And when you do so, May Christ go behind you to protect you from every harm. May Christ go beneath you to support you through every trial. May Christ go beside you to befriend you on the journey to love, peace, hope, and joy. And may Christ go ahead of you this day, this season, and forevermore.